Hi, I'm Steve. Hi, I'm Sophia. And we will be answering... Your frequently asked questions. So just kind of be confident in what you're saying and you, you're going in with the facts, I think. You need to make sure that the salary that you're asking for is, is reasonable and aligned to what the, the client's going to be paying as well. Julia, can you just read out the question? Sorry, can you just read out the stats that you've got there, please? January 2022, in-house was 14.4, agency was 15.1. Why do stats always sound better when they come from an American? Going into that meeting, um, I think it's always best to you know, sit your current manager down, be open and honest about the reasons why that you were potentially even looking and that you've now got a new role. Um, and then obviously always follow it up with a, a letter or an email. Agreed. Handing in a notice is like ripping off a band-aid. You just got to rip off the band-aid. Just do it. Never nice, just remember why you're doing it. So how can I negotiate my salary using a recruiter? That's a really good question, Sophia. <laughs> I'm going to go over to Lara for this one. Lara? Yeah. I didn't know the camera was gone. <laughs> Lara's actually sat over there. <laughs> That's gone wrong. So we can help in terms of benchmarking where salaries could be. We can also give you advice on when they're asking you about salary expectations, how do you frame what your requirements are versus what you're earning at the moment. There's a few things. That's why she's the in-house gaffer. <laughs> So guys, those were your frequently asked questions. Um, if you do have any more, you can pop them in the comments, you can email us, call us, get in contact with us <laughs> across all of the channels. But this has been lovely. Have a good rest of the day.